the theater of magic. All right, everybody, thanks for watching Clark's Place today. We are going to take a look at a circuit board from a World Cup soccer. And the left flipper was locking on it, was this fuse here that was blowing. Uh, we're going to take a look at it, go through test. I just pulled it, the game's on route. Uh, it's one of Cliff's from Leaderboard, but it's actually at Bay Street, something downtown, a bar downtown. Um, so I'll kind of show you. Uh, I, d I don't know electronics. Uh, I just know to, how to troubleshoot, and it's gotten me out of a lot of binds uh, with pinballs that aren't working. So watch. You'll see my process. Hopefully we'll figure out something that's wrong with this board and get it fixed. All right, so I'm going to set this to tone to where when you touch your leads together. So, all right, so... With it on tone, I know that these transistors, you can push here and it's the center lead and that you can see tones. So all these will tone. I know the tip 102s and stuff do. I think these do too, yeah. So all these, that's your common. So what I like to do is I like to go on the tab and then just do across to both legs and you should get about a half a volt there. So they all start out at seven or so like that and then they all go down to 0.5 or so. So those are looking good. All those are looking good. started out at a thousand but so far I'm not seeing anything suspect um that one that one looked weak to start went to two 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 that one started out fine so maybe maybe this guy might be weak but i'm i'm looking for like a straight short that i think the transistors pull the coil power through it and with it not as soon as you turn on the game you flip the game on and the left flipper it goes on so that is not mechanical it is electronic so so far i would this one i'm gonna mark all right this one i think was the one that Nope, that went to 0.5. Must be this one. Yeah, see that goes to 0.22? That just seems a little suspect to me. You suspect! Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna put a X on him. And oh no voltage there across that leg. No voltage. So so the common denominator now is no voltage across the legs. This this is a tone, so that's that is connected to that leg. Same as these all are. So Oh that's got voltage. 0.221. Oh, there's there's that's a dead short. And that is what we're looking for. And that's been replaced before. It looks like not by me, but let's see how these others check out too. No voltage. No voltage. Or no, no transfer of any power whatsoever. No connectivity. But this does... So that is open somehow, and that is definitely shorted. So that is sending or pulling the voltage or allowing the voltage to energize that coil the whole time is my limited understanding of it. Yeah, because these, that's, that should be toning. 
Yeah, each of those legs. Hopefully you can tell the legs that I'm touching on right there. And then everything that's in a circuit, basically I, I try to test against each other. So even these resistors, that's 0.221. That's 0.223. That's well, kind of jumping around a little bit. But maybe because of this is funky. And that's 0.222. So I'll replace this if I've got a, I think it's a tip 36. Tip 36C. Tip 36C. So that was the right one that they put back in. But uh, And they got some electro goo underneath this so uh, if it's still got enough in it I'll just slap a new one on and make sure it goes right but so far this one is lower voltage than it should be but maybe it's in line with this yeah because that one's 0.48 or so and that one goes to 0.55 ish so right now definite bad suspect and then I call these guys trash cans too, if you know what they're called, uh, tell me in the comments. But I think those might be MOSFETs, or maybe these are MOSFETs, and these are the transistors. Look there. Look at them all straight. Look at them, make sure they look okay. And then I like to test these from the backside. Sorry, camera difficulties. So let's, let's just test these legs across each other. Okay, no voltage across. I'll put the black in the center. So 590, 590, 590, 590. 590 and basically all I did there was check from that center post to either side and every single one of them were 590 so I'm saying that row of transistors or MOSFETs or whatever the heck they are um, but you know what look you can see that's where somebody's been here before so this replacing those did not fix it from what I can see um, whoever put those bad boys in maybe there's something else wrong with this board as well so We'll see. I'll try to replace those. That is a tip 102. That's what all these are. And those all look factory. That's the only one that doesn't say tip 102 on it. So I'll find a tip 36 and a tip 102. See if I got them, put them in, hopefully fixes the game. All right, tip 102 and tip 36 found. So I'm going to throw those in there.
put it back on testing. And we'll test our new little buddies here. Tone. No tone. No tone. So I like that. Tone. Shouldn't have anything. Ooh, we went to five. Let's see, hopefully not two here. Okay, I think that that suspect guy that was two something on one of the legs, now it's 450-ish. That should start out at seven and go to 550-ish. So let's test leg to leg here. 444. Four, 470, still a little low. So let's test resistors here. 0. 0.056, 0. 0.055, 0. 0.056, 0. 0.057. I'm seeing those are okay. Now let's test these guys again. 232, 2, 3, 230 something. 220-ish, 220-ish, 30-ish, and 220-ish. I think we're done. I mean, when you see common, common resistors that all these are the same, uh, actually it looks like these and these, they're all the same. You can go down and just see, okay, 648. 641, 642, 642, and if you wait a little longer, it actually does settle, and they all end up being about the same, but for quick purposes, if I get a number that looks really close, all those were 640s-ish, these look the same, and nothing. Nothing. Maybe they're not the same. Let's see what these are. Nothing. Okay. So, some of them tested right. Some of, well, I mean, all those tested the same. These aren't tested. Maybe I got them backwards. Oh, there we go. Maybe you got to be on the positive or negative side for them. Now they're all testing 670s. 655s. Yep, 655s. 650. That is weird though that. Oh. Did I test the same the other way? Those do. I thought the resistor tested both ways. Maybe it depends on what they're hooked up to. But you kind of get the idea. You've seen me troubleshoot all those. Found one bad one. Troubleshoot all those. Found one bad one. And then kind of the resistors. You can kind of get the gist that I don't know how all these work exactly. I think that um, probably the main power probably comes through here. And then these turn on or these turn on and tell these to pull the signal through the coil. Uh, to ignite it. Oh, one other thing to test a bridge rectifier here. Um, you can still see over there pretty good. Um, the inside leg, I think, is always the positive when you're doing these. So you put your negative lead on there, and it should test about half volt on both, both sides. So you put your negative lead on the positive terminal. And what I've always done is test both sides. Should be four to five and then you put your positive on the negative side of it and do both legs as well let me see 480 and 498 or so so that's kind of if if you get a tone like you get ground to this and you get a tone like this if those tone out then you've got a bad bridge rectifier and these, these 30, 40 year old games, those are known to be bad. But the way that's put in there and kind of all cocked to the side, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it was that way from the factory, but 
most likely not. It's probably been replaced at some point in its career. Yeah, that looks doesn't look quite factory cutoffs to me there. So we'll put this back in the game and hopefully we'll have another one fixed. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. And have a good day. Ha, ha, ha.